YouTube, it's Cherie here from Thimble Book, um, coming at you with another video. Um, I purchased this Hamilton Beach iron from Target. It was on clearance for $15. And um, beforehand, I had gotten this Rowenta iron, uh, which I got from TJ Maxx for $30. Now at Target, they also had Rowenta irons on clearance for uh, $25, um, which I thought was a great deal. But I just wanted to try the Hamilton Beach one to see how it would stack up against a Rowenta. So without further ado, um, that we'll get into it. Sam have the Rowenta iron plugged up. Um, little things, I've had this Rowenta for about a year now. Um, little things about it that I like and dislike. Now, this iron, if you leave it sitting in an upright position for, uh, I believe it's eight minutes, the iron goes off automatically, turns itself off. So then when you go to start back ironing, you have to set the iron down like this in order for it to start heating again. And if you put the iron down on your garments too early, then it will actually spit water out on your uh, on your items that you're working on, which is a real dislike for me. Now I have this iron down, and it's on, and I'm gonna turn it back on to steam. But it actually doesn't produce a ton of steam. You actually need to press the button to actually get it to steam. Um, even though now it's on steam, you can hear it just slightly making steam, but just nothing that you can see. And it's so faint that it's almost like it's not steaming at all. So, uh, and that's me pressing the steam button. So you actually need to press the button in order to get it to steam. And I've turned this to all different settings and have never been able to get it to steam when it's down uh to the degree that the hamilton beach one steams um so now i'm going to unplug this one and we're going to check out the hamilton beach oh one other thing this iron you have to pardon me because i am working with one hand uh this iron has a metal plate um it is I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but there's a little scratch on the uh, iron where I tried to clean it and it scratched the surface just a little bit. Um, I like the steel plate, but the steel plate is very delicate on this. All right, I've set it to cotton and now it's flashing red as it's heating up. Um, I can't say that I love the button on the digital display. It's a little hard to press. Uh, but maybe that's just me being picky. Now, the while it's heating up, we'll talk about the back plate. The back plate uh, is a non-stick surface. I've never used an iron before with a non-stick back plate, but I'm going to see how it is. Okay, it is warm now. It only took a few seconds for it to heat up. And the reservoir is filled with water. This is making a ton of steam. It is making a ton of steam. And now that I've lifted it and there's, it's not spitting any water whatsoever. So I'm gonna just spray. Is this the spray button? Okay, very little sp oh, water is coming out when I hit the spray button, but some water is coming out. Um, I know it's a bit early, but verdict is I like this iron. I don't know how long it will steam properly and not spit water, but for right now, it's not spitting any water. It comes with a 10-year warranty, and I got it from Target for $15, which was an excellent deal. And this cord um, has a ton of play in it. It has the ball so that it doesn't uh, mess up your cord. Um... It's a little bit more lightweight than the Rowenta iron, 
well, a lot more lightweight than the Road Winter Iron. So if you have something like carpal tunnel or some issues, then this right here would be ideal. Um, the Rowenta is heavier and it feels sturdier, like it'll last longer because this is plastic, whereas the Rowenta is more metal. Um, but I still like this one. So that is my review. Uh, you can go on, you may not be able to find it from Target for the price that I got it from, but you certainly can find this one on Amazon. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon. Take care.